Welcome back. Today we're unpacking a role that sits at the junction of cloud collaboration and cyber defense, the Microsoft 365 Security Architect. If you've ever wondered who keeps Teams chats private, Exchange mailboxes safe, and OneDrive data leak free, this is your episode. In the next few minutes, we'll cover what the job looks like day to day, the skills you need, common challenges, and how your work impacts every corner of the business. Grab a coffee and let's get started. Collaboration in the cloud is no longer optional. The moment an organization turns on Exchange Online and Teams, staff begin leaving digital footprints everywhere. Contracts in OneDrive, acquisition conversations and channel chats, HR notices in Yammer, sensitive CAD drawings in SharePoint. Those files attract attackers fast. Verizon's DBIR estimates over 80% of breaches involve stolen credentials or phishing. A Microsoft 365 security architect exists so that a thriving collaboration culture and a strong security posture can coexist. Take the example of a mid-sized law firm in Chicago. After moving its file shares into SharePoint, it discovered half its libraries were set to anyone with the link. That wasn't neglect. Employees simply wanted to move cases forward. The architect's role was to rebuild access policies so legal teams could still share drafts with clients while preventing accidental public exposure. Policy-driven links and auto-applied sensitivity labels became the compromise. On most mornings, the architect starts by scanning the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. Overnight, Defender for Cloud Apps may have flagged hundreds of megabytes heading to an unsanctioned Dropbox tenant. The architect doesn't just close the alert, they trace the sign-in logs, discover a newly hired marketing contractor working from Buenos Aires, and realize she was using her personal Dropbox to move photography assets. A quick call, a short training session, and a sanctioned Azure storage container solves both the business need and the risk. Beyond incident reviews, big picture planning fills large chunks of the calendar. When a pharmaceutical company prepared for a phase three drug trial, regulators required every team's call and chat involving clinical data to be preserved and discoverable for 10 years. The architect mapped those requirements to purview retention policies, ensured the client's data was stored in the EU geo, and ran mock e-discovery searches with the legal department so they could validate the setup long before the first audit request arrived. The job also demands design thinking. A multinational manufacturer with plants in Asia, Europe, and the US wanted just-in-time admin rights and zero use of permanent global admin accounts. The architect introduced privileged identity management, shrinking standing privileges from eight global admins to none while keeping production support responsive. That single change pushed the company's secure score up by 21 points and satisfied an ISO 27001 corrective action. Life inside of Microsoft 365 security is tool heavy, but each platform has a story. Defender for Office 365 once caught an invoice-themed phishing campaign that slipped past a third-party gateway because the attacker weaponized a link post-delivery. SafeLinks rewrote the URL, detonated it in a sandbox, and stopped the breach before anyone clicked. The architect then pivoted to attack simulation training, sending a mimic of that message to staff. Click rates dropped from 18% in the first simulation to under three on the next run. Information protection matters just as much. A hospital group needed MRI images labeled as protected health information the instant they hit OneDrive. Auto classification rules looked for DICOM headers and patient IDs, wrapping files and encryption only radiologists could open. The architect wrote the pattern, tested it against sample images, and demoed the result for compliance officers who could finally sleep at night. Identity sits at the center. Conditional access policies blocked basic authentication across the tenant, killed a legacy IMAP script that an intern had built three years earlier, and briefly triggered an outage in the marketing automation pipeline. Rolling back wasn't an option because attackers were actively brute forcing those legacy endpoints. The architect rewired the app to use modern OAuth, proofed performance parity, and then removed the exception. That operation was logged, documented, and later reused as a template for every other basic auth dependency. 
Shadow IT tops the frustration list. The architect once found 1,400 unique SaaS domains in a six-week Defender discovery scan. Blocking everything would have stalled the business, so the strategy became monitor, score, and steer. High-risk apps were blocked, medium-risk apps placed on a review queue, and low-risk allowed but logged. Over six months, unmanaged app usage fell by 60%, and the marketing team gained a curated list of approved creative tools. Legacy authentication is another thorn. A decade-old multifunction printer stubbornly required basic SMTP. Rather than leaving an entire protocol open, the architect isolated the printer's IP, applied conditional access to allow basic auth only from that address, and set a retirement date six months out. Procurement sourced a modern model, and the exception vanished on schedule. Human fatigue can't be patched. One firm's executives clicked 40% of phishing simulations even after two years of training. The architect worked with HR and privacy to implement QR code-based training posters near elevators, micro-learning pop-ups inside teams, and a report fish button that rewarded quick reporters with gift card raffles. Click rates plummeted below 5% within a quarter. Most architects begin as system or network admins. Mastery of PowerShell comes next, followed by a pivot into security operations or compliance. Formal credentials, SC300 for identity, SC400 for information protection, SC200 for defender operations, demonstrate depth. A seasoned architect in North America commands between $135,000 and $180,000 base, with bonuses for regulatory success. In Europe, salaries track local markets but still outpace general administration roles by a healthy margin. The road ahead promises more emphasis on automation. Microsoft is folding security AI into Defender, meaning architects will train models with tenant-specific telemetry. Data residency pressures continue as regulators from India to Brazil demand local storage. Architects who can map purview data maps to geopolitical boundaries will be in highest demand. Safeguarding Microsoft 365 isn't about locking doors. It's about designing hallways everyone trusts. When collaboration flows and data stays protected, the architect has done the job. If you thrive on both scripting and storytelling, writing a KQL query one hour and explaining risk to executives the next, this career hits a unique sweet spot. I hope this behind the scenes tour demystified what a Microsoft 365 security architect really does. If it sparked questions, drop them in the comments. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Visit Almond Consulting for expert guidance. Stay informed, stay secure.